bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hawes Bear Reviews. I'm Scott. I'm Jeff. Mr. Freeze has got a 16 ounce black can with purple on it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool looking can from Hidden Cove Brewing Company. Out of Wells, Maine. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's one pint, 16 ounces, mm -hmm. 9% alcohol, 90 IBUs. IBUs, yes. Bludgeon. Double IPA. You wanna crack it? It's it sounds like it can, it can put a hurting on you. It can. Yeah. I've been through it. Uh yes, yeah, so why don't you you would like to pour this for us? Yes, because okay. you've been through The hops in this one are lemon drop, Eldorado, Apollo, and Mandarina. Which uh, I would have to think would have an RNG flavor. Yeah, and there was, an, there was another word after that. I think it's a dual name. Uh, but oh. um, this one won the 2017 Greater International Beer Cider Mead something. Saki competition. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you got it. That's great. Yay. I wonder... Um, I'm guessing it had to be in the double IPA category. I don't know what kind of categories it had. Yeah, me either. But, I've had this one before. A few of them. 9%'s no joke. Nah, you can't screw around with this stuff. No. It's like, you won't want to operate heavy machinery if you thought. Oh no, this is like firecrackers versus uh, sparklers. Oh shit. Yeah. You're not kidding. It's cloudy. Tiny bubbles that went away quickly. Yeah. I have no sea monkeys. But they're hanging but out. Cloudy. They're lacing a little bit with, the, with what they have left in them. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasant looking beer. Give it a sniff. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, it smells fantastic. West Coast, baby. Yeah, baby. Malty, malty madness. Thank you, though, too. Yeah. Plenty of hops in this beer. Right. I wish I had a big cat tongue and I could lap it up. All right, let's take a taste of it. Yeah, I'll drink it. I won't. If you lap it up, I'll give you ten bucks. <laughs> I won't. No, I won't. Ten bucks. Twenty. I get twenty. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, this is a serious show. This is scientific stuff. It's oh, good beer. It's oh, That's real good. Nine percent. And you know what? I didn't buy it because of the can. Why? I What's wrong know. with the can? It just looked like a shit show of a beer. Like, oh, we're trying to be... Like, I almost wanted to say... The, the one... Hey, extreme bludgeon double IPA. Right. Like, it's over the top. It is. The artwork. And I didn't buy it the first time I saw it. I bought it the second or third time I saw it. And... The big thing was this is the one that's this is uh, fifteen ninety nine a four pack. Yeah, nine percent. But after the other, yeah, I went back and bought another four pack. So yeah, and I'm gonna buy it for sure. It's a bludgeoner, though. Literally, like I understand the name. Yeah, right. It, In it, the hot tub, drink four of them, and you... yeah, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> It's like getting hit in the head with a baseball bat. Mm. Pretty much. But you like that. <laughs> Generally speaking, I think it's fun. But it has a, a distinct West Coast IPA yeah, aroma. Malty and nice and but smooth. It's not, it's not of, boozy. What I've been finding is some of those West Coast IPAs, they're almost too malty for me now. Right. This isn't... Super malty. It's definitely there. Oh yeah, the malt's there. The hops are there. The booze isn't there really. No. It's it's there, but it's very mild. Oh, we'll fall down after. Yeah, we will. I think it like you, you get bludgeoned after. 
Probably. Yeah. You're just going to the bathroom and boom, you get hit. Yeah. With like a rubber bat. mallet. Me? No. Yeah. Aluminum bat. Same thing. It's good. It's yeah. very good. I'm very glad I tried this because I looked at it in the store and I'm, I, I hate labels on beers. I wish they all looked the same. Because then he wouldn't care what you Totally doing. sway my opinions on them before I even know anything about them. Check it out outside the box. I mean, you gotta look where they're from and who's making them and everything like that. Yes. Well, that's why I have you. I know. Because you do, you do those things. Right. You do that. You just buy stuff. That's the one thing you bring <laughs> to the table. <laughs> oh, we need a couple things. I'll think of it sometime. What do you have on the score for this? Yeah, I'm your first this time. Oh boy. Good God. Like this is pretty freaking high for me. Cause I was just um, talking to Dr. Wenzel the other night and I said, I really like having a, a West Coast IPA now every now and then. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't about. know that there's a whole lot of double West Coast IPAs. No, out there, this is a four six. This is a 4.6 for me. Wow. It's really freaking good. I'm at like a 4.3. <laughs> right. Which is fine. I respect your your opinion. It's just what I want. And I, you may try this and be like, what is he? What was he thinking? This is like a 4 or a 4.2. But it's what I want as a break from these super... Hey, juicy tropical yeah. New England style IPAs. It's kind of a little throwback, but it's not too malty for me. It's just real good. All right, all right. I found it on Untapped. We um, no check-ins from anyone we know. So our average is a four four five. I you're not gonna be happy. One thousand ninety one ratings. I got it in my head. What is it? Four point oh three. 3.61. Are you even in the same country right now? I, I'm sitting on the side. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what in the fuck did you say? A 3.6 yeah. something? 3.61 out of a can. 3.78 draft. Okay. 3.58 on a taster, whatever the fuck that is. That's just if you're at the brewery. I now I'm interested and in, I'm gonna look into this. I'm gonna look into West Coast IPAs and where their ratings are. Because I'm gonna I have a feeling they're all low because no, they're not smack you in the face hoppy. Well I think yeah, and a lot of a lot of, we're forty years old now. A lot of people have only been drinking IPAs maybe for a few years that are rating these beers and they never really drank those initial IPAs that came out five, six years ago before this hazy crap. Right, yeah. I like, it's not crap, but. I know what you're saying. They might not in YouTube world, but yeah. I do know what you're saying. Wow. Wow. Huge difference in scores. Jude. This beer is, it. you, you can find this beer in stores. So, Locally. So check it out and, cause man, I think this is great. I would buy a single at least. Maybe four of them, because I like four of them. When I have four of them, I'm happy. Oh, happy is not the word. And Scott knows me pretty well, and he knows I'm not always happy. Nine percent, though. And think about that when you when you taste it. Nine percent. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is coming to the beach house uh, next week with me. You better hope I don't beat you to corkscrew, because they had it. The only place I've seen it, and there was one four pack left as of today. Again, sixteen dollars a four pack, but to me, it's worth it. It makes me borderline angry that this is a three six. You know why? Because if I was in a store and I looked this up on my phone, you're not gonna buy it. It's a three six. I'd say no. Nope. Well, not touching it. That's the beauty of going to Corkscrew. You can't use your phone in Corkscrew. I generally don't buy a beer that's under like a 3.8 if it's, you know, going to be that expensive. I would have missed this one, so I must thank you You're for bringing, uh, bringing this into my life. Anytime. This is a big moment. But... 
I know it's not for you, but I'll remember this for a long time. <laughs> click down below, click the like, subscribe, notifications, buy yourself a t-shirt. Shit. Hit the notifications so you know when we come on live and we can give you a free t-shirt. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great night. Thank you. Get this beer. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hawks.